No, Volky's good. Obviously, um, he's up the two, the ones, you know, obviously he loses one in the kind of twilight. And I uh, thought he threw the ball good. Talk about that play. Obviously, it was a routine, but, you know, for the outfielder, what? No, you just don't. If you don't see it, you know, it's one of those balls that gets up in a certain certain time of night. Usually when you play outdoors, there's that certain time of night, you'll always see guys kind of, hey, make sure we're pointing because that ball just gets lost at that time of day. Or, you know, he comes through again with the home this time off a lefty. You know, I know this is something you want to see how he does and how you've seen him approach that bat. No, he, J, JB, he's been swinging the bat good lately. You know, I think we've seen that, you know, over the last, you know, I don't know how many games, but he's, you're seeing better at bats on a consistent basis, you know, hitting some balls in the seats, but, you know, have more quality at bats. And when he has that, you know, you see him slowly kind of climbing, um, getting back to where you think he's going to be. You know, he starts off slow, but <clears throat> he's getting back to where you think he should be. On the play with uh, Dietrich where he scooped that ball up, what did you see there? Was um... Well, it's a do or die. And, um, you know, tough play for Deet and tough play for JB. You know, it's one of those you come up with it, it's a great play, and then, you know, it gets by, then all of a sudden you got another run on the board. So, um, you know, obviously it's that tough, that little topper, top spin. You know, you got to get rid of it. You're on the run, so. As first base runner, you know, at first obviously, but better off trying to make sure you block it. Instead of I thought he tried to block it. Uh, you know, obviously you want to catch it, but you're trying to, you want to keep it in front of you somehow. Uh, you know, when you got a chance to score a run, you'd like to try to keep it in front of you. But it looked like he tried to, you know, play it squared up. He didn't, you know, I didn't see an OLA, and I haven't, I haven't seen a replay. Just seen it one time quickly, and you're watching a lot of things on a play like that, so you don't get to see. You know, you see, you think you see it, but you can go back and look at. It. But I felt like he tried to square up and and catch it, but keep it in front. You know, so um, I think I haven't looked at it. Well, it's frustrating for all of us, uh, you know, and so, uh, I mean, I, I don't know what to make of it. I mean, you have to talk to Giancarlo about frustration. I don't know if he's frustrated that is at bats uh, or, you know, us not winning. I mean, so I, I'm not quite sure what his frustration's over. Uh, obviously, you see it over over time when he, he thinks he's got a pitch to hit and he doesn't hit it. You know, he, he gets frustrated, but I think, Obviously, the way we're playing, everyone, you feel a little f frustrated. Uh, but at some point, you just, you know, how much are you going to take? Really, as a team, you just, how much, how much are we going to take? You know, are we going to come out and fight and play hard every day? Or are we just going to give in and think that the season's not going to be a good one? And for me, just sitting back and thinking the season's not being a good one, just not even close to you know, anyway, I'm going to think, you know, I, I, I believe I've talked about it over the last few days and then trying to spin a positive note from the standpoint of, you know, you believe in these guys and what they're capable of doing, but how much are you going to take, you know, as a, as a team? I mean, I think each guy has to find something inside there that says, I'm not putting up with this. And, you know, I don't know if it's, I haven't been here very long. I've been here a year and going into the second season. And I don't know if this is, you know, the feeling you get if things go bad and some things have went bad. But I don't know if for me anywhere I've I've ever been, it's just not it's not a way of thinking. You know, you just don't ever give in to the way it is. You know, if it's not if you don't like the way it's going, then change it. You know, and, and that's everyone. You know, obviously I'm not pointing fingers at anyone, but I think you know, our thinking can't ever change. If we're going to become a championship club and a championship organization, then then we, we can't have those kind of you, – you're going to get frustrated and you're going to have tough times, but you just can't ever give in to, oh, the season's over, anything like that. So, you know, we'll see. You know, just, again, how much we're going to take. How do you as manager prevent that from happening? You just continue to – you know, for me, you try in, in our meetings – you know, within our individual meetings at times, make sure guys are trying to think think right. 
and uh, and you observe a lot. Honestly, you pay attention to the guys that you can tell that it bothers them, and and you can tell the guys that that are giving in. So and then you talk about it. I think so. I think you just pay attention and and learn who you have, and you learn your players. Are you seeing some of that from some of the players? I th- I think you're always watching all the time. So I mean, you know, you can. You're always paying attention. I think you're always on. Um, in this game, you're really always trying to prove something, you know, to somebody. And if you're not, you you're always fighting for respect. From the standpoint of, I want to show the other team that I can play. I want to show my teammates that I'm going to be ready to play. Uh, I'm, I'm, I want other, you know, for me when I was playing other managers, I want them to think I'm a great player. I want them to think I play hard every day. Uh, you're always fighting for respect, and that's constant. And just because you've gotten to a certain level doesn't mean anything, really. Um, you got to continue to go, and you got to continue to earn that every day. So, you know, I think we have, to, as a wall club, just have to continue to fight. And again, I it's I don't even know how many we've lost. I know we haven't won on this home stand, uh, and I know we didn't play great on the road. So, you know, the record at this point is. Nothing but what's happened so far. And fighting for respect, you kind of saw that day with Bora because his first homer against the left left end. That's what you, kind of what you talked about there, right? Well, it's good to see JB. You know, you know, swing the bat against lefties, and actually his numbers have been higher. Some of his bats have been really good against lefties, and some of them have not. But I mean, we're not really talking about just JB. But I think you're always fighting. You know, and you're not, um, you know, fighting for your. You're always fighting for yourself, but you're also fighting for your your teammate. Oh, Nicolino tomorrow.